on Tuesday. All right, it is 8.13. Let's take a live look at the big board on Wall Street. The Dow down 230 points, a little better. It was down almost 500 at the open because of word China would slap $50 billion in tariffs on U.S. goods, things like soybeans, cars, whiskey, all things we buy. Joining me here to talk about what this means for all of us is Michael Triberg with Triberg Wealth Management here in Tucson. Nice to see you again. Oh, thank you. So the tariffs aren't in place yet. It's kind of like we'll see what this country does first is what China is saying. Um, what is the impact here? Yeah, the, the impact could be huge, but really to, to recap what's happened is the U.S. has come out and said that we're going to uh, put a tariff or a tax on $50 billion annually of goods that come in from China. China last night then reacted and said we're going to do the same uh, and it's going to affect a lot of the things that we export to China. Uh, it could mean higher costs across the board for a lot of these products and that's why Wall Street was uh, was so shook up initially this morning with the news. And you see there the Dow is down 240 points so they are reacting on yes. Wall Street. They know the impact and the, 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 it hits them. For us who don't invest, um, is there an impact right now? It, it, not immediately, but over the long term, if we get into a trade war, as we've mm -hmm. been hearing, it's going to mean costs for many goods and services are going to go up. Uh, and so that's the big concerns is that uh, big concern is that uh, costs are going to go up on the, the products that we use, and it can have a far-reaching impact. History shows that uh, no one really wins in a trade war because of that. And, and some of the, these things that China wants to put taxes on, we all use cars, yep. chemicals, planes. Absolutely. Um, so a, a lot of prices would go up. That's that's absolutely right. It was originally targeted uh, for steel and aluminum mm -hmm. for the industrial side, but absolutely uh, there were a lot in electronics. So things like cell phones and computers, etc., uh, are all at risk of going up. Uh, it can d definitely have a, uh, a ripple effect. And talk about the long-term effects of this. If this goes into place and China is taxing our stuff, we're taxing China. Chinese stuff. Long term, what could happen? Yeah, it, it creates a, a lot more market turmoil and a lot higher costs. Now, the good news is is that nothing is in place at this point. Mm -hmm. These are talks. China has clearly said uh, they are coming out with this in retaliation for what uh, was proposed by the U.S. Uh, the U.S. has proposed this to be at the end of May, so we've got a couple of months. Hopefully, negotiations uh, can happen that will uh, come to some type of an agreement. Now, on the Dow, down about 230. We've seen the up and down because of the concerns yep. about the trade wars um, with China. How closely do we need to be watching this? Yeah, we do need to watch it. The market, fortunately, has shown some resilience mm -hmm. over the volatility we've seen. We did open up right in that uh, correction yeah. zone of being down 10% from the most recent high. Uh, but many of the other uh, economic indicators are still positive, but if we do get into a trade war and ta tariffs are levied, uh, that is going to create uh, a much more difficult environment for many companies, so it is definitely something to watch with our investments. And on the Dow, down about 215 now, do you think the market will continue this resiliency just because nothing's in place yet? Is that something they're taking into effect? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this was the original reaction to yeah. uh, to what was announced, but we've got a couple of months to see what happens. If it's getting closer closer, and these mm -hmm. tariffs are going to be levied, I think that's going to create quite a bit more volatility. Hey, look at that. We're, we're getting there. Yeah. Making some yeah. progress. We'll see what happens. Michael Triberg with Triberg Wealth Management. Nice to see you. Thanks oh, for being here. It's my pleasure. Much more on TucsonNewsNow.com. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.